Hello, my name is Christopher Hemmler. I am the Cynthia N. Ford Chair of History and the Social Studies here at University of Liggett School. Uh, and we are here uh, as students uh, test drive a Model T for our material culture of the Ford Model T uh, uh, elective class for juniors and seniors. Uh, we created this class um, uh, two years ago now uh, to uh, allow students to use uh, an actual piece of material culture, the Ford Model T, which will be passing by me in just a moment, uh, to, to really learn about transportation uh, in the early 20th century. Uh, and we thought, you know, you can read about it, you can watch videos, but there's no real way to understand it uh, um, quite like um, working with the actual artifact. And so uh, uh, we've had, uh, you know, brilliant teachers uh, who have uh, worked with the students to help them modify the Model T and learn all about its history and all about how it works. And this is kind of the culminating experience where they get to now drive their modified Model T uh, around our parking lot. My name is uh, Barry Kogan. I uh, was a former teacher here at University of Lincoln School. Great to be back here to teach students uh, a little bit about how to drive and operate a Model T Ford. Uh, the basic uh, skills that you need are different from driving a, a modern car. Uh, there's three pedals uh, to, to deal with, none of which is a gas pedal. Uh, you have a uh, left pedal is a low speed clutch, middle pedal puts you in reverse, and the right pedal is a brake. And it's a matter of manipulating your feet and uh, operating a, uh, a throttle on the, on the steering column. Uh, I taught uh, several students today how to, how to drive the car, and they all did extremely well. Uh, they're a little nervous at first about uh, uh, putting the car in gear and getting it going and, and worrying about stopping it, uh, but all of them uh, did a great job.